Hey everybody, Patton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Sega Master System games on your mini system. It actually has a lot of games you expect to only be on the NES on the system as well. But first, a quick recap on how to mod your mini. Open up HackGCE and go to the Kernel tab and install Repair. Click Yes. Plug your mini system into your PC. While holding Reset, power on, and HackG will do the rest. Once you have the green light in the bottom left corner, you are good to go. The first thing we want to do is go to the Modules tab and go to the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArch tab, choose your version of RetroArch you want to use, then click Download Module. Next go to the KMFD Cores tab, scroll down until you get to the Sega Systems. The core we're looking for is Genesis Extreme GX. Once again, Download Module. Close out the Mod Hub, go back to your Modules tab, and go to Install Extra Modules. Put a check mark next to Genesis Extreme and Retwork, then click OK at the bottom. Once they finish installing, you should get this done message. Now we're going to add our games. To do that, highlight your games, drag them directly into HackG. HackG will automatically populate your box art, game description, and change your command line for you. The last step is to hit the Synchronize Selected Games with Mini button at the bottom, or export to USB if you're using external storage. If you're having problems getting any of this to work, you can always go to the Rockin' the Classics Discord server or subreddit for help. And that's all there is to it. Let's head over to the SNES Classic and take a look. And here we are. First up, let's take a look at Lord of the Sword. I've never heard of this game. Starts up fine. Some story. More story. And we're at the gameplay. You push up to jump. Looks like you got a sword attack. And a bow attack. Oh, that's a... Oh, a ducking bow attack. Very nice. And a demon. Oh, we took care of that. Easy. And... I don't... Fish? Ninjas? That fish was crawling on the ground. You know what? What is this? Lord of the... Lord of the Sword is okay. I don't like these fish, though. Next up is the classic Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. For the love of everything that is holy, do not hit continue unless you have a password you can't get out of that screen. Go to new game. More story. This is a really, really fun game. There was a remake for it not too long ago for the more modern systems. But it plays very smooth. The graphics are nice. The sound is great. And that's all there is to it. Once again, if you're having any trouble getting this to work, you can go to the Rock and the Classics Discord server or subreddit for help. And that's all I have for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.